Okay, students. Good morning. Today we will discuss about third technique of modes of data transfer, and that is called DMA, direct memory access. As the name signifies that in this, uh, what is going on? I/O devices wants to directly access the memory devices of computer system without any uh, intervention of CPU. In uh, previous two techniques, what is going on? Uh, if uh, any uh, I/O device have requirement to access the memory, then always it they will interrupt to the CPU. Okay, and uh, CPU will uh, access the data from memory. Okay, and again uh, it will reply to the CPU will reply to the I/O devices. Okay, but in this technique there will be no intervention of CPU, and in this technique there will be no intervention of CPU, and uh, we can transfer high-speed data from high-speed devices to uh, uh, memory or or from memory to I/O devices. Okay, let's start discussion about uh, DMA, direct memory access. Large blocks of data transferred at a high speed to or from high speed devices, magnetic drums, disk tapes, etc. Okay, DMA controller interface that provides I/O transfer of data directly to and from the memory and the I/O devices. Actually, in this uh, in this uh, in DMA, there will be some the direct memory access controller will be there which which starts and ends the uh, transfer between to transfer between io and memory and uh, between from memory to io okay there is a inter uh, 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 this is a dma controller is a interface between the io devices and the memory cpu initializes the dma controller by sending a memory address and the number of words to be transferred CPU will start the communication between DMA controller and the memory by initializing the uh, initializing the initial address of the memory word and the how many number of words to be transferred. That will be that will be denoted by the CPU. Actual transfer of the data is done directly between the device and memory through DMA controller. Okay, so after initializing the cpu after uh, initialization of the data cpu will be freed okay and cpu will perform another task which is which which he is going to be executed and uh, it will be free from the continuous involvement okay and free cpu freeing cpu for other tasks and cpu meanwhile cpu can do the other tasks okay and uh, let's uh, here block of the data transfer dma controller cpu initializes and this is a dma transfer uh, bus uh, cpu bus signals and this is these are the some cpu uh, signals uh, which will be uh, assigned in the cpu uh, for the dma transfer there are i will explain all about okay this is a uh, bus request br bus grant bg and this is address bus data bus read and write high impedance when bg is enabled okay and uh, block diagram of dma controller again here you will get the dma controller there are same pins ds dma select uh, rs register select rd wr and br bg yeah, bus request bus grant and this is an interrupt and this is a uh, controller uh, bdma controller control logic and this is address bus data bus data bus buffers internal buses and uh, here you will find out the address register will be there word count register and the control register control register will which will initialize which will mm, tell either you want to do read operation or write operation from the memory okay word count register as a uh, uh, CPU initializes as uh, we have seen that CPU initializes DMA, DMA controller by sending memory address and the block size. Okay, number of total 
वर्ड्स तो सो नंबर ऑफ टोटल वर्ड दैट इज इन स्टोर्ड इन साइड द वर्ड काउंट रजिस्टर सपोज आई वॉन्ट टू ट्रांसफर टेन वर्ड एट पर्टिकुलर टाइम एंड एड्रेस रजिस्टर विल स्टोर द इनिशियल एड्रेस ऑफ पर्टिकुलर वर्ड दैट इज स्टोर इन साइड द एड्रेस रजिस्टर ओके ऑल दीज आर इंटरकनेक्टेड ओके ऑल दीज आर इंटरकनेक्टेड ओके i hope uh, uh, all pins you know and this is a bus request and bus ground signal and that will be uh, and uh, you can see that uh, these signals are inside the cpu as well as inside the uh, dma controller okay with the help of this bus request signal bus request signal will be generated by the dma controller and dma controller uh, will generate the uh, bus request with the help of um, bus request with the help of this signal and if cpu cpu uh, is not using particular uh, at particular time the uh, is not using the buses for data transfer then cpu can release the buses for some time to, and hand over the hand over the full responsibility of buses to the dmo controller and that will be that where that permission will be given by with the help of pg bus granted okay bus granted in this time dma will take over dma controller will take over the uh, control of all the buses and uh, and uh, 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 complete the data transfer between io devices and and between io devices and memory device of the computer system and uh, meanwhile cpu will perform other task okay and this is the interrupt signal and these are uh, dma request and dma acknowledge that will be generated by the io devices io devices first io devices will send request to the dma dma controller and dma controller uh, will send uh, uh, again communicate with the again communicate with the cpu okay i will uh, explain in a complete diagram uh, that, that will that will be next slide okay uh, i hope all pins are clear there will be no problem next uh, this is a uh, again c dma io operation and uh, i will uh, try to explain in the diagram uh, you can uh, read out that starting an io cpu execute instruction load memory address register load word count register and load function to be performed issue a go command okay these are some instructions given by the cpu upon receiving a go command dma performs io operation as follows ind independently from cpu okay and input input device read control signal that will be activated and uh, buffer dma controller from input byte input byte will be loaded with the input byte is loaded with the buffer controller and assemble the byte into a word until word is full okay memory address will be transferred to m and write control signal okay address register plus 1 as the uh, suppose you want to transfer 10 words 10 words yeah, read read from read read it means uh, uh, it means uh, uh, computer system cpu wants or io devices wants to read some words from the memory some words from the memory and um, there is a initial address initial address inside the address register okay so 10 consecutive words will be allocated will be stored will be stored in memory area okay so that here we are what we are doing we are do, doing the address register tends to address register plus 1 okay so we are incrementing 100 100 plus 1 100 101 100 102 103 and up to 10 okay simultaneously word count register as you as the uh, io devices will read the word from memory first word will be read will be read from the memory then the, the uh, word count will be decremented okay first time that will be allocated as a 10 and next time it will 10 minus 1 equal to 9 and it will go up to the it will go up to the if w is equal to 0 then interrupt to acknowledge done okay so uh, the process will go continuously up to the word count will become the zero okay and output this is from is this is this process is for input and this process is for output in input it means uh, it means uh, uh, memory is reading from io devices and output it means memory is uh, uh, going towards the output device okay output input output devices io devices ke through okay again here m tends to m address or m address 
address uh, and R will be loaded and uh, M address R plus one WC tends to WC minus one disassemble the word buffer uh, one byte tends to buffer output device the tends to W for all D assembled bytes if WC equal to zero then interrupt to acknowledge done else go to one okay actually here there are two different processes input and output input it means uh, it means data is going from io device to memory and output it means uh, data is going from memory to output devices okay so say so uh, in, in general what you can say that there will be process will be same we need to initialize the address a starting address of the word and then uh, we need to uh, initialize the uh, word count register with the help of how many numbers we want to transfer from in or out okay and so that will be allocated and according to the both conditions are both operations are dependent on word count register how many words how many words input output devices or memory wants to transfer from in or uh, uh, they want to take input or give the output okay let's see this uh, this example okay this is a dma transfer complete diagram you can see that uh, this is a dma controller this is a cpu jo so uh, all these pins are connected the rdwr address data Intra BG BR RD and they, this is your main memory. This is your main memory again memory inside the memory There are four pins read write address and data address and Address and data and this is your IO peripheral device. Okay, and uh, DMA acknowledge DMA request DMA controller interrupt and RDWR address data you can see that all these things are properly interconnected Okay, and this is your address select address select ds and rs data select and register select ds and rs ds data select and register select okay so uh, in this diagram communication is start with this peripheral device peripheral device will request for suppose io devices have some data to transmit from from io devices to memory in this case it will generate a dma request okay dma request will be sent towards the cpu cpu will generate a dma controller will generate an interrupt signal okay interrupt signal will be generated by the uh, cpu uh, uh, i have some data to transmit uh, from from io devices to random access memory or memory device okay after that after some time it will generate br bus request signal okay uh, cpu will cpu uh, bus request bus request signal will be generated with the to towards the cpu and uh, cpu will respond cpu will respond with bus grant signal as the bus grant signal will be generated it will automatically transmit dma acknowledgement it means it means I, the peripheral devices will be ready with the data will ready with the data okay after after giving the after giving the bus grant signal here simultaneously cpu will allocate the address of the data address starting address of the data and and the and the and transmit the total number of bits total number of bits that will be that will be uh, that, that that is going to be transferred okay mean uh, uh, as per the as per the starting address and total number of bits it will relinquish the control of control of data bus and address bus to the dma controller to the dma controller and dma controller according to the operation read or write according to the operation dma controller will perform will activate the particular data bus and that will be that will be that will parallelly simultaneously will go to the random access memory and transmit the data as per the as per the uh, given number of words okay it will find out the starting address of the bus 
starting address and it will be allocated to there it will be attached to their starting address then a starting address according to the starting address data will be copied data will be copied with the help of data bus here you can see that the data bus is connected directly with the memory but without permission of cpu without uh, permission of without uh, granting the permission of uh, data transfer uh, the io devices cannot directly access the data buses okay cannot access directly the databases as the cpu will release the control of buses the data transfer will be occurred data transfer will be occurred with the help of data buses okay as the starting address will be loaded and uh, uh, here dma controller knows that dma controller knows that how many words we need to transfer how many words we need to transfer it will it will uh, Mm, uh, uh, it will uh, work uh, transfer the data uh, and, uh, up to the uh, uh, control register will not be uh, sorry count register value is not going to be zero okay as but as the count control uh, count register value will become the zero the data transfer will be where data transfer will be closed data transfer will be closed and again here uh, with the help of interrupt signal again the, here uh, dma controller will send the message towards the cpu that i have completed my particular job and you can take the charges off you can you can take the charges off you can take the uh, uh, you can uh, take the control of all the buses okay so in simple terminology uh, here whatever the operation whatever the operation is performed that will be decided with the help of uh, with the help of read and write control signals read and write control signals cpu uh, either you want to read data from the memory read data from the memory it means read signal will be activated or you want to transmit data from the um, uh, you want to uh, store the data uh, in inside the memory that that will become the write the uh, that will become the right that, that is under the control of write control signal okay so i hope uh, all these connectivity uh, you will be able to understand and uh, how it is working okay uh, you can see that here here data will directly transmit from the io peripheral devices to the memory with the help of data bus with the help of data bus but without initialization of the address value it cannot happen it cannot happen okay so that here the control is main controller is a uh, dma controller a dma controller will tell how many bytes or words we need to transmit and what is the starting address of the particular word okay so you will be able to understand and uh, here meanwhile jaise hi dma controller apna pura control buses pe le leta hai aur cpu ne usko buses control de diya hai uh, itne number of bytes of data ko transmit karne ke liye us dauran cpu apne dusre task ko execute karte rehta hai okay so this is the advantage of dma transfer dma transfer ka uh, jo main advantage hai wo yahi hai कि इससे क्या होता है कि सिस्टम की एफिशिएंसी भी हमारी स्लो डाउन नहीं होती है और जो आपका थ्रूपुट है थ्रूपुट रेट वगैरह है वो उसका मेंटेन रहता है ओके तो अब यहां पर एक इंपॉर्टेंट टेक्निक आती है साइकिल स्टेलिंग एक्चुअली डीएमए कंट्रोलर ऑपरेट्स इन डीएमए कंट्रोलर ऑपरेट्स इन टू मोड्स नोट डाउन करिएगा डीएमए कंट्रोलर ऑपरेट्स इन बेसिकली टू मोड्स वन ऑफ द मोड इज बस्ट मोड एंड अनदर मोड इज साइकिल स्टीलिंग मोड ओके बस्ट मोड एंड साइकिल स्टीलिंग मोड अब बिफोर अंडरस्टैंडिंग द साइकिल स्टीलिंग एंड बस्ट मोड लेट्स इन प्रीवियस क्लास आई वाज डिस्कस दैट इंटरप्ट एग्जीक्यूशन स्टार्ट एफ्टर द execution of the interrupt cycle will start after the execution of the 
इंस्ट्रक्शन साइकिल सीपीयू जब भी कोई काम कर रहा किसी भी इंस्ट्रक्शन को एग्जीक्यूट कर रहा होता है तो फर्स्ट उसकी प्रायोरिटी होती है कि वो उस इंस्ट्रक्शन साइकिल को कंप्लीट करेगा देन इट विल सी दैट सीपीयू उसमें फिर जो भी इंटरप्ट ऑकर हुआ है उसको देखने जाता है आफ्टर द कंप्लीशन ऑफ आफ्टर द कंप्लीशन ऑफ इंस्ट्रक्शन साइकिल ओके नाउ इंस्ट्रक्शन साइकिल को कंप्लीट करने के बाद वो किसमें जाता है इफ देर इज अ सम इंटरप्ट देन इट विल गो टू सॉल्व द पर्टिकुलर इंटरप्ट इंटरप्ट एंड इंटरप्ट को सॉल्व करने के दौरान इंटरप्ट साइकिल को परफॉर्म करता है ओके नाउ अब यहां पर हमें क्या देखना है uh, अगर uh, कुछ केसेस में अब क्या होता है कि डीएमए कंट्रोलर यहां पर हमें बार बार हम क्या डीएमए के विद द हेल्प ऑफ डीएमए डायरेक्ट मेमोरी एक्सेस व्हाट वी कैन डू वी कैन टेक ओवर द कंट्रोल ऑफ ऑल द बसेस All the buses and and perform the data transfer. Okay, so अब कुछ cases में हमारे पास suppose हमारे पास high speed devices है क्या है हमारे पास high speed devices. अब high speed devices मतलब हमारे पास disk है hard disk है hard disk से जब भी RAM में data allocate करना हो main memory में data को हमें allocate करना होगा तो हम जैसा जानते हैं कि that is क्या है वो अपने आप में क्या है एक एक particular मतलब सबसे fastest device है हमारे जितनी भी इनपुट आउटपुट डिवाइस है उसमें सबसे फास्टेस्ट डिवाइस क्या है हार्ड डिस्क तो हार्ड डिस्क से जब डेटा ट्रांसमिट होता है और वो फास्टेस्ट डिवाइस है तो फास्टेस्ट डिवाइस के अकॉर्डिंग वहां पर अगर कोई भी डेटा ट्रांसमिट होना चालू होगा तो दैट विल गो इन द्यूज अमाउंट ऑफ डेटा ओके एंड ह्यूज अमाउंट ऑफ डेटा को जब ट्रांसमिट करना होगा तो इस केस में डीएमए क्या करता है डीएमए कंट्रोलर एक बार अगर वो बसेस का कंट्रोल अपने ऊपर ले लेता है तो जब तक कि वो पूरा डेटा को ट्रांसमिट नहीं कर सकता कर पाता है कर लेता है तब तक वो बसेस को रिलिंक्विश नहीं करता छोड़ता नहीं है ठीक है तो दैट दैट कम्स इन द कैटेगरी ऑफ बस्ट मोड वो किसमें आता है बस्ट मोड में ओके तो बस्ट मोड का यूज क्या हुआ कि इट इज गोइंग टू बी यूज फॉर ह्यूज अमाउंट ऑफ डेटा एंड फास्टर डिवाइसेस को के बिटवीन फास्टर डिवाइसेस को में डेटा को ट्रांसमिट करने के लिए यूज होता है क्या हमारे लिए पास बस्ट मोड ऑफ डीएमए कंट्रोलर और दूसरा जो डीएमए कंट्रोलर का मोड है साइकिल स्टेलिंग अब मैं यहां पर जो बात कर रहा था इंस्ट्रक्शन साइकिल और, और इंटरप्ट साइकिल की अब इंस्ट्रक्शन साइकिल को थोड़ा सा ध्यान से सुनिएगा इंस्ट्रक्शन साइकिल में कौन कौन से फेस होते हैं ये हम लोग बहुत शुरू से यूनिट नंबर वन से ही डिस्कस करते आ रहे हैं इंस्ट्रक्शन फैच होता है इंस्ट्रक्शन डिकोड होता है ऑपरेंट फैच होता है और एग्जीक्यूट होता है और एक लास्ट होता है स्टोर ओके अब हमको यहाँ पर डीएमए कंट्रोलर यहाँ पर एक थोड़ा सा सीपीयू को भी एक फ्लेक्सीबिलिटी देता है ठीक है तो दैट मोड इज कॉल्ड साइकिल स्टीलिंग साइकिल स्टीलिंग हाउ इट इज स्टीलिंग द साइकिल फ्रॉम द मेमोरी तो From the from the CPU, okay? तो अब यहाँ पर आप देखोगे instruction fetch, instruction decode, operand fetch, execute, store, okay? तो अब आप यहाँ पे देखोगे कि instruction fetch जो हमारे instruction cycle है instruction fetch कहाँ से होता है Memory से होता है okay? There will be requirement of bus. Instruction decode, there will be no requirement of buses, okay? Operand fetch, there is a requirement of memory. Execution, there is no requirement of memory. Again, execute store, there will be requirement of memory. Again, memory. So, if we take five phases, five stages, we take instruction cycle, and in those stages, we see that how many times it is required for buses for the memory operation. For the memory operation. So, in those cases, what does DMA controller do? That the case of the cycle उस फेज का इंतजार करता है जहां पर सीपीयू को किसी भी तरह के डेटा बसेस या एड्रेस बस की जरूरत नहीं पड़ रही होती है ओके तो उन केसेस उस केस में वो क्या करता है अपने डीएमए के डेटा को ट्रांसमिट करने की रिक्वेस्ट सेंड करता है उस पर्टिकुलर टाइम को यूटिलाइज करता है ठीक है और उस यूटिलाइज मतलब जहां पर सीपीयू बसेस का यूज नहीं कर रहा है वहां पर डीएमए कंट्रोलर यूज करेगा जैसे ही डीएमए कंट्रोलर काम खत्म सीपीयू को एंड होगा सीपीयू का काम खत्म हो जाएगा डीएमए कंट्रोलर वहां पर रिक्वेस्ट लेकर के फिर से बसेस को अपने कंट्रोल में ले जाएगा तो दैट कंसेप्ट इज कॉल्ड साइकिल स्टीलिंग एंड इट इज अ मोड ऑफ इट इज अ मोड ऑफ डीएमए कंट्रोलर This is a very important concept and इसके through बहुत सारे questions अगर आप gate के लिए exam के लिए prepare करोगे तो आपको cycle stealing का concept मालूम होना चाहिए, okay?
देखो यहाँ पर वही सारी चीजें लिखी हुई है वाइल्ड डीएमए आईओ टेक्स प्लेस सीपीयू इज ऑल्सो एग्जीक्यूटिंग इंस्ट्रक्शन मैं ये बार बार बता रहा था इसी इंस्ट्रक्शन साइकिल की बात कर रहा हूँ डीएमए कंट्रोलर एंड सीपीयू बोथ एक्स बोथ एक्सेस मेमोरी मेमोरी एक्सेस कॉन्फ्लिक्ट ठीक है एंड मेमोरी बस कंट्रोलर कोऑर्डिनेटिंग द एक्टिविटीज ऑफ ऑल डिवाइसेज रिक्वेस्टिंग मेमोरी एक्सेस प्रियोरिटी सिस्टम एंड मेमोरी एक्सेसेज बाय सीपीयू एंड डी एम ए कंट्रोलर आर इंटर वोवेन विद द टॉप प्रियोरिटी गिवेन टू डी एम ए कंट्रोलर ओके अब यहां पर भी टॉप प्रियोरिटी किसको दे दी गई है डीएमए कंट्रोलर को साइकिल स्टीलिंग साइकिल स्टील करना सीपीयू इज यूजली मच फास्टर देन आईओ द सीपीयू यूज द मोस्ट ऑफ द मेमोरी साइकिल ओके डीएमए कंट्रोलर स्टील द मेमोरी साइकिल फ्रॉम सीपीयू ओके तो सीपीयू एग्जीक्यूशन में जो भी सीपीयू अगर अपने इंस्ट्रक्शन को एग्जीक्यूट करने के दौरान जो भी जिस केस में भी वो क्या करता है मेमोरी साइकिल मतलब मेमोरी बसेस का यूज नहीं कर रहा है उसी को हम वहां पर हमको क्या करना है डीएमए कंट्रोलर वहां पर बसेस का कंट्रोल अपने ऊपर ले लेता है फॉर दो स्टोलन साइकिल सीपीयू रिमेन्स आइडल फॉर दो स्लो सीपीयू डीएमए कंट्रोलर मे स्टील मोस्ट ऑफ द मेमोरी साइकिल विच मे कॉज सीपीयू रिमेन आइडल लॉन्ग टाइम ओके अब जो बस्ट स्टीलिंग बस्ट मोड था बस्ट मोड में क्या हुआ कि बस्ट मोड में जैसे ही डीएमए कंट्रोलर ने पूरा कंट्रोल एक्चुअली हाई स्पीड डेटा को ट्रांसफर और ह्यूज डेटा को ट्रांसफर करना था हार्ड डिस्क के डेटा को ट्रांसमिट करना था मेमोरी में तो उस केस में उसने क्या किया कि पूरा कंट्रोल ले लिया डीएमए कंट्रोलर ने बसेस का अब मीन अगर सीपीयू को जरूरत पड़ रही है सीपीयू को क्या पड़ रही है जरूरत पड़ रही है किसकी बसेस की तो उस केस में क्या हो जाएगा सीपीयू आइडल हो जाएगा लेकिन साइकिल स्टीलिंग में इस आइडल टाइम को क्या किया गया है रिड्यूस किया गया है ओके सो दिस इज द कंसेप्ट ऑफ साइकिल स्टीलिंग एंड दीज आर द मोड्स ऑफ मोड्स ऑफ modes of dma controller and dma controller dma controller is a very good technique of data transfer by the which the io devices can directly transfer data between memory and io okay i hope you have understood and uh, you can uh, if you have any problem you can write me and uh, next is the last topic of uh, input output unit is uh, that is a uh, input output processor or channel so as uh, we are uh, we are seeing that uh, anywhere everywhere first phase mein humne dekha ki there is io interface and here we have the dma controller similarly now nowadays every processor have there is a input output processor for or All any type of of input output activity. किसी भी input output activity को control करने के लिए आज की आज के समय में हर CPU के साथ साथ हमारे पास एक क्या होता है input output processor होता है जिस तरह से आपने एक GPU का concept पढ़ा होगा graphical processing unit. Similarly, we have input output processor. Okay, which will handle all activities related to input output devices. प्रोसेसर विथ डायरेक्ट मेमोरी एक्सेस कैपेबिलिटी दैट कम्युनिकेट्स विथ आईओ डिवाइसेस और यहाँ पर जो आईओ प्रोसेसर होगा दैट विल बी इक्विप्ड विद द डीएमए कंट्रोलर चैनल एक्सेस मेमोरी बाय साइकिल स्टीलिंग चैनल कैन एग्जीक्यूट ए चैनल प्रोग्राम स्टोर इन द मेन मेमोरी कंसिस्ट ऑफ चैनल कमांड वर्ड each ccd ccw specifies the parameter needed by the channel to control the io devices and perform the data transfer operation cpu initiates the channel by executing and channel io class instruction and once initiated channel operates independently of the cpu okay so you can see that this is the concept of iop input output processor and this is a simple operation performed by the a uh, channel or uh, iop operation okay cpu operation and iop operation and uh, it will interrupt uh, time by time and according to that uh, actually as we have seen that in dma controller there is a no intervention of cpu less number of intervention of cpu we don't want to uh, interrupt cpu many times and cpu will perform Uh, his own task and io in, with the help of input output processor uh, io related activities can be performed separately okay uh, after take granting or uh, requesting the uh, matlab yahan par buses ko thodi der ke liye cpu uh, apne paas rakhta hai aur zarurat padti hai to uh, iop ko input output processor ko wahan par wo usko permission kar deta hai aur is tarah se data ka transmission ho jata hai
okay so this is the concept of input output processor aur uh, isme ab aapke paas kuch questions hain and uh, you need to solve as the format is given in last video and uh, you will give the answers of these questions in comment box of the video comment section of the video and these are the questions question number 4 5 uh, question number 5 the correct matching of the following pairs okay this is question number 4 okay this is question number 5 This is question number six. In these questions, you need not uh, write to uh, one or more line words, uh, one or more line statements, but uh, you write to A, B, C, or D. What is the uh, correct answer? You will need to write. Okay. Please answer the questions. Read the uh, read the questions carefully and according to your knowledge. Try to solve the problem. Okay. I will note down. every result every uh, input from the each student okay question number 6 this is the question number 7 and uh, this is the question number 8 which of the following is an interrupt according to temporal relationship with system clock okay so here you will get the total five questions and you need to answer the questions in comment box of the video and thank you and uh, as per your uh, number of views number of responses uh, given by the each viewer i will move forward okay thank you